This is how you see where the coupons are. You take out all the coupons. If you ever have a, an issue where it says uh, something's blocking the coupon passage, you go there. There's also this hidden spot in case the machine ever says that it's jammed. Help is on the way. Um, so sometimes you'll find uh, jammed bills there. where you see how much you have all together. Right now it's at perfect 800. This is what everything should look like. One's fives, tens, twenties. And this is what the coins should look like. Now, it won't always look like that. Um, to when you're balancing out the coins and putting them back in the compartment, which I'm gonna show you here in a second, you end up pressing refill all coins to even out because there's no balancing system like the bill handler basically has. Right now, we are going to go ahead and transfer all bills. So, hit yes. I go ahead and from here, just close the drawer out. Don't always trust the paper. Um, close lane. All right. Now, sometimes, we haven't had it since I fixed it, but you might have a case where customers are saying they're not getting the correct change back. And what I found is this was loose. It's not really well put on there. So you might just have to put it back on there and that is the easy fix. And there we go. Let's just get things back a little bit. This is your, where your change is, this is where your dollar bills are. You'll twist right, flip the switch, and then pull. Your cash drawer is most likely going to be number 17. Ours, our number 18 is the one that doesn't accept cash. So you go in there. Today it was 3161 over, so I would count all of them. And actually it was 20 cents short than it should have been. So I didn't do the full amount. But vice versa, if it was a negative, just like any other drawer, you would take it out of the deposit and put it in. So. Open these. No money in here. Make sure you check that there's no spare change in there. There's usually some penny or quarter or nickel stuck in there. Uh, you want to be extra careful with the quarters because it bumps it up a little bit further than the, the other ones. A okay. hundred. This should be a hundred also. Then this should be two hundred. And then this should be three hundred. So it's technically 26 cents over, but we want 800 and it's basically there. So let's say we had 55 penny, uh, 55 dollars and quarters and an extra five or whatever. Um, if it's really small amounts, uh, I would usually switch out a five for like five quarters or etc. 
uh, rather than going into the end press. If you can stop from going into press, it, it really is a lot smoother and quicker and easier. So I recommend grabbing a drawer with the ACL uh, and making the ACL the first thing that you close out. Now you should be able to set those change drawers back in the little slots. Just like you got them. show you what happens when you put all the money in here. Alright. Open, cancel any pending transaction. So, actually, it looks like it only thinks we have the ones. It doesn't even think we have the rest. And not even all the ones. Only 35 of the ones. So, yeah. Loading it that way definitely confused the machine. So we can go ahead and transfer all those bills and do it the way, um, the slower way, but it's the more sure way. Ah, the error message! Okay, so to fix this error message, you have to go ahead and take this, uh, this box out and pull out the money. Take all the money. That's obviously not all the money. We're missing ones. Now, before I open this back up, I want to show you something else. All right, so we're gonna put it back in. See what I'm talking about? It won't let you push it in. You have, it forces you to open it. So even if there wasn't money in there, you still need to open it. Do not force it. That's not gonna help anyone out. There's still money in there. So basically, you take all the money out, like I said, put it back in, and then you just do it all over again, transferring all bills. And that should get the rest of the money out. what you end up pressing is load bills through acceptor and then you do it one by one <sighs> so now you're done 700 like it's supposed to be everything's looking good 100 you refilled all coins so everything is a-okay. And the sheet of paper should match the count. So bada bing bada boom. Alright. Now that took forever. Now if you're for sure that whoever before you balanced it correctly, I highly, highly recommend you to do this next one I'm going to show you. It's a lot quicker and riddled with a lot less issues. The only problem is, is if someone screwed up before you, even by a couple dollars or whatever, you won't know about it because you're not completely balancing it. But if you do it this way, you're taking all the, out all the money that you're supposed to take out just like you would any of the other drawers. So, scan your card, cash maintenance, cash tracking, bill handler, Transfer bills, transfer excess bills. Okay, so it pulled 65. So, okay, yes. Return to summary. Exit. Close lane. Now we're not gonna pull the change department, we're just gonna pull the dollar bills. 
we'll say 1575. That means you pull out. Sixteen. I would pull out sixteen for fifteen seventy-five. So I pulled out sixteen when all I needed was fifteen seventy-five. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exchange this dollar for four quarters. Put these back in here, and that one quarter. One quarter right yeah. That one quarter, I'm gonna pull out these and put the quarter in there. And in this menu up here, I'll show you. No yellow lights. Welcome. Go down to your quarters, press add, and put 25 for one quarter, and hit enter. That's what you do, and then you would be done. And you'd be able to return, exit, exit, and be good. Thank you.